Rory, what did you make of that workout? Um, really pleased with the first half. We, we, we dominated the play and um, you know, we, we created opportunities without creating um, real clear cut, cut ones, so that would be the, <coughs> the only bit to take from today. But second half, um, you know, they came out and um, you know, stepped, up, stepped up a gear and um, had the momentum with them. Um, we need to recognise that and work out how to change that. Um, you know, but um, it's not an excuse. But you know, the, the lads have had a tough week. You know, we had a real tough session yesterday. We were out for nearly two hours yesterday, um, which which would probably half normally on a on a Friday. And we, I think we probably saw that second half with a few um, starting to to fatigue slightly. But um, they have to get through that play. You know, the majority played 90 minutes, which is which is a bonus. And um, you know, but overall pleased. Tyrese Campbell with a quality finish that will do him the world of good, won't it? Yeah, listen, everyone knows Ty's strengths and weaknesses, and um, you know, finishing's one of his real strengths. And it was, you know, it was, a, it was a fantastic ball by Ben, and great turn and finish, first time finish from Ty. But um, you know, he's looking sharp, he's looking fit. Um, you know, he's, he's missed a couple of pre-seasons since I've been here, which which does have a massive impact. Um, you know, he had a little procedure at the end of last season. Which was he felt was holding him back a little bit, and you can see the difference in him since we've we've come back. He did a did a few extra weeks in the summer there to make sure he was flying when he came back, and we're seeing the benefit of that now. Played a couple of the young players. Tom Sparrow did well, particularly in the first half, and Connor Taylor grew into the game as well, didn't he? Exactly. Um, I thought Tom was outstanding first half. You know, kept it simple at the right times. You know, and um, took responsibility. There was no um, hesitation in his play. Um, you know, again. You know, probably with along with the rest of the team, you know, um, just needed to get out of that little. We were in a little bit of a slump, second half when when they had the momentum. But again, Connor, um, you know, he's, you know he's got to be dominant in the air for for a centre back. Um, you know, but you saw the last two couple of heads in, in the first half that he was getting his timing right. And it's, you know, it's all about that. He's still growing, believe it or not. But um, you know, he's, he's he's got to make sure that he's he's doing his work to make sure. Um, you know that his his coordination and his balance is, is correct to, to be able to go and dominate early, um, you know, and, and, and almost bully his opponent, um, which which we saw towards the end of the, the first half. But um, no, a great experience for those those young boys today. Obviously, disappointing there wasn't a crowd here, mm. but um, it looks it looks fantastic the work that's been done. So I look forward to getting the crowd back. Number of players had 90 minutes. How important was that? Yeah, really. Um, you know, it's getting to that point in the season. Um, you know, as I say, we had a tough week, so it was. Um, it's not all the importance on on the fitness side of it and making sure that they're going into that fatigue. But um, you know, now we'll start to ease back. Um, you know, we've got two games left um, before the season starts. Um, you know, but it's important we ease back on them now and make sure that the. The, the fully sharp, fit and round to go for, for Millwall. What are you looking from those two games, Bristol Rovers on Tuesday and then Hearts next Saturday? I think um, you know it would probably be another. Uh, some of the lads that didn't play ninety today, will, you know, will be will be one to get ninety minutes into them. You know, there was a few who played a lot of minutes, uh, like Flinty, that you know needed um, you know a, a break from the work we've done. Um, and then going into the Hearts game, it'll be a it'll be a team that you probably. Won't see too many changes probably before the first game. So, um, you know, again, another real important game on Tuesday at Bristol um, for some lads to, to try and try and grab a shirt. Finally, uh, saw Jordan Thompson take a nasty tumble right at the end. What's the news on him? Yeah, it was. It was I think it was. It was just a bit of a awkward fall in his. He's, he's hurt his wrist. Um, it's a little bit swollen, but he's, he's, he's a tough lad. He'll be all right.